Hey everybody. Well, today we're going to take a look at this really cool metal model. Um, it's all, uh, all steel. It is actually going to be a scorpion when it's all done. Uh, most of everything on here is in Chinese, so I don't know <laughs> what un any of this says. I guess it's Chinese. But I found this on Amazon. They're not cheap. It was about $76. But uh, it's got some a little bit of weight to it, and it's a really cool looking model. So uh, let me go ahead and open it up, and I'll show you what the parts look like. Okay, so I took the plastic wrap off. I have not seen what this looks like yet, so uh, let's see, I'm not exactly sure how to open this thing. This box is really super tight. Ah, uh, here we go. Okay, oh, okay, very cool. All right, so we have, uh, looks like we got some tools here. Oh, look at all those screws in there. I don't know if you can see it with the reflection going on there. There's a ton of screws. There is some, there's actually a spring in there, um, some really tiny washers, and uh, little baggies of stuff. That almost looks like a, a lug wrench or something. Hmm, there's also an, uh, an Allen wrench in there too. All right, very cool. Uh, oh, here's a nice little screwdriver. These always come in handy, especially for the R2-D2 kit. I can probably use that. Very nice. Let me see what's going on here. This looks like... Um, looks like it's just a guide to show you... I'll have to do it sideways here. To show you what's in here. Well, none of this is going to be in English, so this is going to be interesting. Hopefully it'll be easy enough to figure it out. You can see all the stuff going on in here. <clears throat> in here, it looks like there's a... Wow, looks like there's going to be a lot of parts to this. Oh, that's kind of what it looks like right there. It's going to look like that. It's not that big, though. But, uh, yeah, that looks pretty neat. And these are probably... These are assembly steps, it says. So you can see what it's going to look like. Um, oh, there is a little bit of English in there, so that should help. Should be a pretty interesting kit for sure. Oh wow, there's another one. I'm not sure why these are in. Oh wow, look at all those parts in there. <laughs> all right, let's take a look real quick at this uh, other magazine. Looks like there's quite a few steps to this. Hopefully, it's not going to be a super complicated thing to put together. And on the back here, you can kind of see what it's going to look like when it's all finished. All right, so let's take a look at these steel parts. All right, so here is all the parts to this thing, and there's took some doing to get this out of the box, but here you can see there is a plethora of pieces when it comes to this thing. This is all stainless steel. Looks really, really good. Try to get some light on here. Oh my gosh, there's, there's a lot of parts on this. I always get myself into these crazy kits, but you know, once you get started, it's it's okay. It's just a little intimidating when you first see all this. <laughs> oh wow, that's pretty neat. Okay, so uh, there's that. Uh, there's a little wrenches and stuff going on right there, and some screws. Long ones, short ones. Those are kind of different right there. There's some more. There's a ton of the nuts right there, and other things. These are um, these are labeled. Let me see if I can. Uh, Reach over here and flip one over. But you can see these are labeled. Well, that one's got H on it. This one here is 3M. I think these are 2M. So they're all labeled, so that's good. At least it should be easy to identify these. But all right, well, yeah, this looks like it's going to be pretty cool. I've never built one of these before, so this should be interesting. Hopefully it's not too complicated. But if there's anything interesting along the way of the build, I will certainly chime in and show it to you. Otherwise, uh, I may just have it completely done. All right, so I may as well get started on it. I forgot to mention that the company that makes this is called iTechor, I guess is the name of it. Although, uh, well, that's how it's listed on um, Amazon, but on the box it says Steel Warcraft. And then also uh, the instructions do have English on there. So, it, you know, it's just following it in there. And you can see all the parts are labeled. So it looks like it's pretty straightforward. All right. Back to work on this thing. All right, so I wanted to show you a progress report here. So I got the claws done. They go together pretty, pretty good, actually. Um, and these look really nice. 
Now, uh, you can move these. They'll open and close like this. And this one here actually has a little movement with um, this other piece right here you can see. But, you know, I, I got to say that when you move, every time you move these, it loosens the nuts back here. So I don't think I'm going to be um, really moving these around that much. So I'm going to go ahead and just tighten these down. Because otherwise, you're going to keep finding yourself having to uh, fix that. I did that already with these. And then also the uh, instructions, you got to be really careful. So as you are doing these things, it only shows you how to build one side. So I'm guessing this would be the left side here. So you build all of this. So when you do this one, there's no instructions on or this one here. You have to just kind of look at that picture and know that that's the opposite. So you're going to do the exact same thing, but do it in the opposite way. So you got to get your brain kind of in the opposite mode <laughs> to do it. And then you'll notice that um, the numbers are in uh, red for 13 and 6 and stuff like that. And then uh, for the opposite side, they are in green. So let me bring this other sheet over here. So right here, it has the parts all numbered. So you'll use the right side or the left side, whichever side it is, it's red, like the, what the instructions show. And then you'll just get the exact same piece, like this is number nine right here. So you'll get uh, number nine for the green for the opposite side. So they're they're labeled properly, although they screwed up on that. Yeah, they, <laughs> they did mess up on that. One of those is supposed to be red. I ran into that, but hopefully there's no more of those mistakes on there. I mean, it's not really hard or anything. It's just that when you're doing the opposite ends of the uh, of these kind of pieces, you're going to have to kind of get your brain to function in that way. It's kind of weird. But anyway, these are really cool. I'm, I'm really loving it. These are nice quality parts. I mean, these are really nice parts, I got to say. All right, so I'm having fun with this. <laughs> it's pretty cool. All right, well, we'll see what else I come up with here. Okay, so this part here, <laughs> oh my gosh, I had such a hard time with this thing. So... Um, first of all, when you are putting all these little pieces in right here, you got to make sure that they're all straight and they're kind of, and they keep wanting to move on you. Like, see, it's nice and straight there, but it took, I don't know how long to make sure that these are, because every time you, you tighten these, it moves these around. They, they keep wanting to turn. You have to keep straightening it out and then re-loosening it and tightening it again. These things here were another really hard thing to do. Um, try to see if I can focus in on this. It's trying to focus on other stuff. Okay, so uh, yeah, like these things right here, you have to make sure that uh, these, little screw, these little screw heads right here, those have to be on the inside. If you put them out here, um, this is not going to fit because now these, these ends here are sticking out too far. So I had to take the whole thing apart and realize that, that, that I screwed up on that. And yeah, I mean, it's really, it was a really tricky part right here. I don't know why that gave me so much of a hard time, but I've probably been working on this for an hour and a half. All right, well, uh, thankfully, that part is done. Okay, so these legs were <laughs> pretty fiddly to put together. There's a lot of components in here, um, and they're just really um, kind of tricky. There's a lot of things you have to kind of hold at the same time before you, you know, screw it all together. And then, uh, once again, you got to go, you got to put your brain in opposite mode when you're building this side. Uh, you, you build these ones, and then you build those. And you want to make sure the screw heads are on the same, on opposite sides. That way it, it, you know, kind of matches when everything's put together. So you got to kind of put your head in that opposite mode. And then uh, here's the body. This was kind of cool, building this part. And you can see these are kind of loose when they're done. Maybe they'll tighten up when, uh, when it's attached to the legs. But that's pretty cool looking. It almost looks kind of like a shrimp or something. <laughs> it's kind of cool. And I got the claws all finished as well. All right, so we're kind of down to the home stretch now. All right, so now we got the legs all attached to the main body section. This is kind of weird. It's all spider looking. So, uh, you know, once again, you can keep these loose if you want to and adjust the legs pretty much any way you want. But uh, like I said, the, the bolts come loose, the, uh, the nuts come loose, and I don't want to have to uh, keep tightening those. So I put, tighten these down pretty good, pretty tight, and I just kind of kept them at about this nice flat look to it. All right, so now we're starting to work on the stinger and the tail. And here it is, all complete now. Wow, this is uh, <laughs> this is a really cool looking, really cool looking thing. Uh, this, the whole steel, stainless steel look of it uh, just kind of makes it beautiful, but also kind of creepy. <laughs> Not gonna lie, this thing is a little bit creepy looking. Um, 
it's a, oh man, I don't know. Uh, it was a really fun model to build, but it's pretty intricate. Uh, you have to really pay attention to what's going on. I screwed up on a couple of parts that I ended up having to take back apart to uh, correct things. And, you know, you kind of want to pay attention to which way the screws go in. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, uh, we'll use the legs as an example. You know, you know, you want all the screw heads to be on this side and then all the nuts to be on this side. It just kind of looks better aesthetically. I mean, I, it, I guess it doesn't really matter, but you kind of want it to look right. You know, these have all the nuts on top right here on the, uh, the claws. That, uh, <laughs> that tail's really cool looking. I love that long stinger piece. But um, yeah, this is really neat. It's got a little bit of weight to it. I mean, it's not, you know, real heavy or anything, but it is metal. And I like that it is made of metal. I've never put one of these together. So let me get you some close-ups on it. So here is everything all put together. So you do everything in sub-assemblies. You build the claws, the middle body section, and then all the legs, and then the tails, the last part that you build. You can see all this stuff going on here. I like the little spiky things that they've added to the outside of it right there. I love the way that body is segmented like that. It's very, very cool. So like I mentioned, you can pose this any which way you want. You can pose the, uh, you know, you can move around all the, uh, like the tail and the legs and the claws and if you want these open or closed. But like I mentioned, every time you move them, it kind of loosens up these little, these nuts on here and then you got to go in and re-tighten those up. And if you lose them, you know, you don't want to do that either. These, these nuts are super tiny. I mean, you can see how tiny these are and so are the screws. So uh, they're very, very fiddly. <laughs> it's a... Uh, a lot of fiddling around with it. A lot of times you are holding several pieces together while trying to screw everything on. And you know, that makes it really hard too, but I think it looks really cool. You can see how the front of this looks. It even has like the little eating pincher things on the front there. Almost kind of looks like eyes with those two uh, screws right there. Yeah, this is really neat. So yeah, it was definitely a lot of fun. The only thing I had an issue with was right back here, let me, use this as a pointer. This part right here, where the uh, tail connects to this back section of the uh, torso or the body, it didn't quite fit. And that has to fit in there a specific way because there's actually a molded edge in there. So this, these little uh, rounded bits here have to fit inside with uh, like the molded bit in here. And the uh, holes just would not, they just would not match up. It was just, somehow it just wasn't going. And, you know, it wasn't anything I did with the build. It was because it has to fit against there. So I had to actually take a Dremel and uh, uh, Dremel down the edges right in here of this piece. And then that way I could get it, you know, so that the hole would be matching up to where that screw goes in there right there. And that's kind of a, a bigger screw, too. There was another time that that happened, but I managed to just kind of force the screw in and it, and it went in. But this one wouldn't do that probably because of how thick that screw is but um, that was the only glitch in the whole thing for the most part everything else went together pretty well we can take a look at the bottom of it here let me flip this over you can see how that all goes together there's quite a few little nuts in there those last two pieces right there are the last two parts that you put on it's kind of like a stabilizing uh, bit right there to hold everything together and yeah it looks kind of creepy under there <laughs> it's very cool yeah, very intricate, but I really loved it. Definitely a lot of fun to build. They do give you some spare bits here. So when you're all done, you at least have some more uh, hardware, just in case you lose any of these, especially things really tiny, like those little washers right there. I didn't think I was gonna have enough of these nuts, but they were actually uh, plenty, so that was good. Only one of those left over and a couple of screws there. So it's nice that they do give you some extras in case you lose them, since everything's so small. So there we go, a nice metal model of a Scorpion if you're interested in getting one of these. Um, I bought this on Amazon. Like I mentioned, they're not cheap. They're about $76, but I guess, I don't know, considering the quality of the parts, I'd say it's, you know, it's probably a little expensive for what this is, but, uh, but you know, it's definitely a challenging build that you're going to spend the better part of a day. Well, for me, it took me a better part of a day to put this together. I'm not the fastest builder uh, and, you know, I had to make some corrections on it as well. But it's called uh, iTechOr, I believe is is the company. Well, at least that's how it's listed on Amazon is iTechOr. But the box just says uh, Steel Warcraft. So just look up metal 
uh, Scorpion model and it should pop up. And I don't know how many parts this had, I should have counted, but it's very cool. I think it's really neat. So if you want to build one of these, uh, head over to Amazon and get one. But yeah, I think it's pretty neat. All right, well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did like it, don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to it. Really appreciate that. So until the next video, thank you so much for watching and have a good one.